god. Mo Billings is in the building, Monique Bills. <laughs> what is happening? Man, I'm so blessed, so mm. happy to be here. Feeling great. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. And you released a new book. I did. Finding Balance. She's an author. Yeah. What was the motivation for the book? Wellness is so important to me. Mm. Um, since I was a young girl, something that my dad has always instilled in me is just to have balance within your mind, your body, your spirit. He would tell me this almost every day. And back then I'd be like, yeah, right, dad. Okay, whatever. You know, I'm nine years old, not really listening to him. But mm -hmm. as I get older, as I, mature, as I mature, I realize just how much um, having balance within, like I said, your mind, your body, your spirit is everything. And it just, that's how you navigate life. Mm hmm Wow. <sighs> Riverside is in the building. I have to emphasize that. The IE, is the that I correct? The IE. Um, I was born in Riverside. I'm from Corona. No one knows where that's at. So I just I say do. LA. Do you? So I used to stay in Temecula. Oh, so you know exactly where that's yeah, at. Yeah, for a hot little second. Mm -hmm. I love that mm -hmm. area. The boonies. Yeah. The boonies. <laughs> it's nice though. It's up and coming. Yeah, that's all right. Mm -hmm. um, so my question to you, my good friend, is um, you made it to the WNBA. You ever I thought did. you would get there, sweetie? Never thought I would make it to the WNBA. Yeah. One of the biggest blessings and achievements mm -hmm. that I've ever been able to have. When I was young, my dad and my mom would take me to the Sparks games. So I'd watch Lisa Leslie, Candace Parker. I'd be like, oh, those are superheroes. Like, they're literally super women. Mm -hmm. like, I could never do that. Mm -hmm. And so now being in this position, I've played five seasons, going on my sixth season. Mm. Being in this position is crazy because it's like I never imagined myself being here. So it's just a blessing. Um, I'm so glad you're here because we've never had the opportunity to um, have someone from WNB on our show, I'm right? I'm the first one. So you're the first. I'm honored. Hey, the best is yet to come. Yes. <laughs> so my question is, do you think society and media shines enough light on the WNBA? I like to keep things positive. So okay. I will say things are heading in the right direction. Okay. I think there are eyeballs on our games. Um, and just on the sport in general, and not even just women's basketball, I think women's sports in general, I think mm. um, people globally are beginning to recognize us and really respect us, which I appreciate that. And I always have to just pay homage to the OGs who came before me, the pioneers who didn't have those eyeballs, who um, weren't making the salary that I'm able to make, and it will only continue to grow. So in 20 years, in 50 years, young ladies can look back and be like, yeah, yep. Mo Billing, she continued to pave the way too. But mm -hmm. always have to pay respect to the people who came before me because they didn't have the social media, they didn't have the media coverage or any of that. And now I would say our sport is definitely taking off. Like I said, a lot of people are beginning to respect it mm -hmm. and honestly just find like an appreciation for it. So I think we're headed in um, the right direction. Do you think after your amazing career, do you think maybe you're going to like coaching and things like that? No. no. <laughs> I don't think that's my calling. Mm. Um, it takes a lot to be a coach yep. and I have so much respect for people who do, but yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily my calling. Mm. What does life look like for you outside of the WNBA? Outside of the WNBA, yes, I want to do all the things. So I model, I'm a broadcaster, ah. yes. So I'm really big into fashion, I love traveling, culture, I'm a foodie. So life outside of the WNBA is just living life to the fullest, just experiencing life, having fun, making memories. What's your favorite style of food, being that you're a foodie? Yes, I am. I actually enjoy cooking. People okay. don't know that. So you can cook. I can cook, I can do a little, I can do a little thumbs up. Oh. My favorite style of food, Okay, there's a place I'm gonna shout out. It's called Oh My Burger in El Segundo. They have donut burgers. I love donut burgers. Anyone who knows me knows I love donut burgers. It's two glazed donuts, patty, mm. two pieces of bacon, cheese, side of garlic fries, and a peach cobbler shake. Yeah. It's a, it's wow. a real thing. Oh yeah, that's like my favorite. That's like go-to meal. Obviously I can't eat that every day because right. I'm a professional athlete. I got to keep my body. I got to make sure I look good. But that is cheat meal for sure. Mm, interesting. <laughs> Any places in Atlanta? 
In Atlanta, yes, I found many places. Um, it depends on what vibe I want. Okay. Um, the barbecue here is really good. Just mm -hmm. the soul food in general. I would say like the soul food scene in Atlanta, the mm -hmm. fried chicken. I mean, you can go to Whole Foods and get some good fried chicken, which we don't have that on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. So I think that's um, pretty cool and pretty unique. Okay, so I'm gonna throw something in here real quick, okay? So okay. I was watching some of the highlights. Okay. And um, I saw some of the games, right? Yeah. You're a real beast on that court. <laughs> Thank you. I think I can take you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just lying, I'm lying, no I can't. <laughs> it's so funny because a lot of guys will come up to me and say that and I'm like, where is this coming from? Like the last time, and not you, but mm -hmm. a lot of these guys who say that, the last time you played was on the JV team mm -hmm. in high school, mm -hmm. you know? So. I would love to play with you one day. Like I, yeah. I know, like you were a real beast with it out there. Like I saw that. I, I said, try. okay. I work hard. Yeah. UCLA. Mm -hmm. mm. Shout out to my Bruins for that. Mm. I can dig it, man. <laughs> you know. Well, it's a blessing that you have been able to go and transition from, you know, from high school to college to pros, writing books, food, fashion. Yeah. Like What's next? No. Well, you say what's next. I always just try to leave the door open and let God work yep. through me. So whatever God has in store for me on my path, I am open and ready to receive. But I just want to continue being a light. I would just mm. say that's next for me. I'm able to travel the world and share my light with so many people. So I hope that I may continue to do that. Maybe more books in the future. I am i didn't even expect to write this book. Like I said, it kind of just was a God-given mm. thing. And so it just happened. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe more books in the future. Definitely would like to be a television personality. I can um, see that, yeah. Continue doing that in the future. So like I said, I want to do all the things. Mm. You spoke about the OGs and pioneers of the game. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the OGs and pioneers that inspired you? I got to give a shout out to my dad. And God rest his soul, he passed oh, last year sorry, from ALS. Man. And I actually dedicated my book to my dad because like I said, without him, I wouldn't know what balance was. He was the most balanced person I've ever met in my life. And just always seemed like he had everything together. Even to the day he passed, he was just so at peace and just very calm and very, um, I don't know, just had a very good spirit about him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I dedicated my book to him. I would say he's been my biggest OG, biggest influence in my life. And I got a shout out my mama too, because I love my mom. Yeah. Holding it down. Um, is so she in Cali? Or yes, she my yeah. mom is in Cali, my mom and my sister. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, is this for me? For you. Oh. I'll even sign it for you if you want. Please? Yeah. I'd highly appreciate that. <laughs> um, this is great. Thank you so much. Um, I look forward to actually getting into this like this weekend. Yeah. Um, it's a quick read, very yeah. digestible. Yeah. And I give keys in there that have worked for me towards my wellness. And I think that they'll work for anyone. I'm just allowing you to learn how to become the highest version of yourself every day. I like the feel of it. See, I'm big on the feel. Really? Like, what does a, it feel like? Tell me what it feels there's like. There's like a shellac coating that's going over it. I feel opulence. I feel wellness. Yes. Um, I feel some level of peace and yes. tranquility coming okay. from this. The colors and yep. yeah. That's the vibe that I wanted to give off. So I'm happy that it's being received. Before I let you go, I want to ask you, what does a day in the life of Monique Billings look like? Like training and yeah all of that you know oh we get it in yeah so <laughs> I usually like doing my workouts in the morning so I make sure I'm up early sometimes 5 30 in the morning lifting going to go shoot hoop, mm. do all that stuff um, yeah knock out my workout in the morning lately I've been into hot yoga so I'll do that sometimes throughout the day maybe later in the day um, but I'm big on just resting. Like after I work out, I make sure I rest, eat some good food, relax, talk mm -hmm. to my people. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I like doing extracurricular activities too. Like I said, like the yoga, I've gotten into Pilates. I like cooking, cooking is very therapeutic for me. So I'm very much go with the flow, whatever my spirit and my soul is telling me to do, that's mm -hmm. usually what I'll end up doing. What advice can you leave for um, young women, young girls that or possibly want to follow in your footsteps and that you inspire? My advice to young women and young girls would just be not to limit yourself. Like I said earlier, I never imagined myself 
having this platform, being in the WNBA and just having these opportunities, talking to amazing people like you. Aww. I never thought that that would be an opportunity for me. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm here doing it, I'm like, why didn't I think that? Why didn't I dream bigger, think bigger? And I'm honestly not sure why, but I want to encourage young people to never limit themselves, to literally have dreams that scare you and make it happen because I don't know when you put your mind to anything and you put the work in like anything you can achieve anything that you want and it's not always about the end result it's about who you're becoming in the process it's about the character that you're developing while you are going through the process of trying to achieve excellence and be great mm -hmm. the best is yet to come I think the world needs more of you keep shining your light. Thank you so much. You Will know, do. Um, finding balance. We're going to push this as much as we can. Thank you. This, this is good. And I hope you enjoy it. I am. And I'm definitely going to let you know what I what I get from it. But this is great. Thank you. Um, thank you for being you. Thank, thank you. you for being on Members Only, powered by Hennessy XO. And the best is yet to come. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure, my good friend.